This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Today we're going to talk about some of the best personal projects that were made using Blender recently. This includes terrifying horror shorts, weird sci-fi projects, captivating stories, music videos, and a lot more. We are seeing a lot of short movies being made with Blender these days, but Heroes of Bronze is probably one of the best ones I've seen so far. It was almost a one-man project, which is very impressive to be honest, but as a result, it took more than four years of production to be finished. The story in this short film goes back to the Greek Empire times, where during a battle with the Persians, the hero of the story gave his life to support and defend his home and people. Then his son chose to get revenge for his father, despite never having seen him and only having stories and memories about him. And despite being too young to wear his father's armor, he continues to train and grows bigger and stronger, waiting for his moment. The pipeline of making this film is almost the same as any other animation movie, but since the artist behind it created this short film as a side project, he worked on characters using Reillusion's character creator and iClone, which are basically specialized software for creating characters. Then he captured his own animations using Rococo suit. After that, he textured most of the assets using Substance Painter. Also, he used Marvelous Designer for cloth simulations. And Blender was used to assemble everything and render the project. The composition was done in After Effects and editing was done in Premiere Pro. The short film was absolutely great in terms of the technical aspects, the cinematography, and especially the storytelling which was impressive. And I personally enjoyed it. From fighting battles with human enemies to fighting battles that you cannot win. This animation project took Reddit and Twitter by storm when it was posted recently. Maxim, the artist behind this short, is known for his horror-style animation shorts. And I think now he proved himself again to be one of the best artists out there for making this kind of stuff. It took him only 120 hours to make it. And he made it without any prior experience in cloth and hair simulations, which is really impressive. The inspiration to make this project came from a few AI-generated images in addition to a video he saw on TikTok. And most importantly, it was made entirely using Blender, which is really cool. The video will be interesting to anyone who likes scary video games or films, because you can really feel it. Now we're gonna talk about this grease pencil animation made by Daisy. He made it completely in Blender's Grease Pencil and took him over a year to finish it. The animation has a unique kind of style to it that tries to depict the essence of the song. And many people in the comment section agree on this point. The animation's plot is based on the song called The Mind Electric. And it is about a guy who constantly is working and hustling while desperately hoping for some mental tranquility. The artist behind this animation actually started it as a side project in order to get him more familiar with animation, but through the project, he decided to turn it into a real thing, which is really inspiring for people who are trying to learn new stuff. From crazy grease pencil animations to this mysterious sci fi ish project called Secret Moon, it tells the story of a new virus called the Moon, which turns humans into deer. This short movie has a mysterious vibe to it, but it delivers a very simple and clear idea. From a technical perspective, it looks good for a personal project, because a lot of things about it look great, from lighting, fog, composition, hair and cloth simulation, to animation and so on. But I would say that the characters could have used more details, especially minor details. However, I found the voiceover work of the character and sound design to be terrible, to be honest and I wish he kept the character silent. The project, however, was made in a period of 40 days, which is nuts, and it participated in the Kitbass 3D challenge. And by the way, the same artist who worked on this project also made the famous deer that was previously the official splash screen of Blender 3.1. By the way, if you want to learn how to make 3D projects using Blender, I suggest you take a look at Skillshare. You probably know Skillshare now, because it is the leading platform for learning anything related to photography, video editing, and illustration, but there are also a lot of classes about 3D art like animation, game development, and VFX. So I recommend you start by learning how to create realistic forests and mountains from this course by VFX artist Yasin, which is the right one for that, I believe. 
To follow along with the class, you need some previous knowledge of Blender. The class contains two hours and a half of video content, which are divided in 22 lessons. By following the lessons, you will learn how to create mountains and lakes in Blender by using the already built-in add-on. And also you will learn how to texture it, like the scene, and get a realistic looking environment by the end of this class. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now, we have this award winning short that was made fully inside Blender. It was finished in a period of 6 months during the first month of the quarantine. But for some reason, the creator couldn't release it to public until now, so it feels good to finally be able to see it. This one also started as an exercise to learn how to model a character and animate it, and then it turned into a bigger project. This project has a unique style to it cause it looks like a stop motion animation and the audio and sound effects are also pretty good. The stop motion style of animations are kind of rare these days, but here it is just an artistic choice I believe because it is not actually a stop motion animation, since it is created using a 3D software. This project is not perfect by any means, as lighting and the compositing were very basic and the general production quality, but overall that was a very good result for someone learning how to create 3D animations for the first time. We're gonna wrap up today's video with this short animation, which is called Forest Robot Animation. This short was created using photo scans from a small local forest, and most of the photo scans were taken by the artist himself, and they were taken using a mobile app called Polycam, which we already created a video about. Unlike the previous projects, this one wasn't done entirely using Blender, because the modeling was done using Maya, and the cleanup of the photo scanning was done in ZBrush, and then everything was animated and rendered with Blender. The project has a cool and smooth camera animation, and the lighting was also done pretty well in addition to sound design. And I suppose this wasn't complicated, because this is just a simple and small project. I hope you found this project inspiring, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, you can also take a look at some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, if you are interested in the news of the CG industry, like new software releases and updates, add-ons, scripts, courses, and so on, I recommend you take a look at our new channel called CG Vortex, in which you will find all the above on a daily basis. We wanted to do so to have the freedom to cover more content that doesn't conflict with each other. On the other hand, this channel Inspiration Tuts will be dedicated to deeper topics and higher quality when it comes to research, writing, and editing around exciting topics related to 3D software and the stuff no one talks about when it comes to creative industries such as game development, VFX, and animation. So if you want to catch up with the news of 3D early on, go now to CG Vortex and show us your support there, and you will find the link in the description of this video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe because this helps a lot.